Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So in the last uh, videos, I have explained you about the simplex method. So four types of problems, maximization type problems, minimization, then mixed constraints. And the last method is dual method. In this video, I'm going to explain you what is the meaning of the term dual and how to formulate the dual from original LPP linear programming problem and how to get the solution of dual and what is the economic interpretation of dual. So after completing this video, we'll solve few problems on duality because in examination, apart from problems, they will ask you a theory question regarding what do you mean by dual in linear programming problem or how to formulate a dual. These things will be asked in theory also. So this video is going to be very important for attempting the theory question on dual. So after completing this, we'll start the problems on dual. So before starting the meaning of the term dual, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. First of all, we'll try to understand about the meaning of the term dual. Every linear programming problem, whether it is a maximization problem or a minimization problem, has associated with it an mirror image problem. Mirror image problem based on the same data. That means every linear programming problem has an image problem. From the same data, we can derive the image. That image problem is called a dual problem. So one original problem is there, linear programming problem. From that we can derive easily the image problem. That image problem is called the dual problem. The original problem is called the primal and the image problem is called the dual problem. Right? However, in general, either problem can be considered as primal and the remaining problem as dual. It is not necessary that original problem will always remain original. We can treat the original problem as dual and its dual will become primal. That means any problem we can treat it as primal or dual. Right? And both the problems can be derived from each other and is a, there is a unique dual problem associated with every primal problem. So every problem, linear programming problem has an image problem. That image problem is called dual problem. So now the format of the simplex method is such that when primal is solved, its associated dual is solved simultaneously. One of the speciality of this simplex method is when we solve a primal problem, automatically we will get the solution of dual. If we solve the dual problem, we can automatically get the solution of the primal. Easily we can get because simplex method is such a method where we can have the solution of both the problems. If one is solved, the other solution we can easily get. That is the speciality of simplex method. Now the main idea behind, now the question will arise, why to find out this mirror image problem? Why to find out this dual problem when we can solve the primal problem itself? There is a reason behind it. So what is the reason? The main idea behind changing from primal to dual is to minimize the number of constraints and thereby the number of iterative steps to obtain the primal solution. Sometimes what will happen? An original linear programming problem will have so many constraints. In the previous video we have seen an, a, an LPP will have some three constraint or maximum four constraint. Two, three constraint normally we have seen in the problem. But what will happen if the original linear programming problem is having some five, six or eight constraints? It will be highly difficult to calculate. It is not impossible. It is possible, but it is difficult. Time consuming, tedious method to solve the original primal problem when the number of constraints are more and the variables are less. In that case, the alternative method is simply convert that original problem into its image problem. Convert the primal problem into dual problem and solve the dual problem. 
by solving the dual problem we can get the solution of primal also automatically so directly when we it is directly when it is difficult to uh, i mean find the solution of a primal we convert it into dual easily we can solve the dual and automatically we can get the solution of the primal that is the main reason behind converting the primal into dual our time is saved easily we can get the solution then procedure for formulation so far i have explained you about the meaning of the term dual now formulation of dual how to convert an original primal problem into dual problem so what will happen now see here on changing primal problem to dual the result is what is the effect <clears throat> what is the effect of converting the primal problem into dual problem the first effect is the objective function gets changes from maximization to minimization or minimization to maximization first rule remember if the original problem primal problem is maximization type then it's a dual problem will be minimization type opposite opposite for example the primal problem says objective function maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 now we want to convert this primal into dual so objective function will be minimization because original problem primal problem maximization so dual problem will become minimization if primal problem is minimization the dual problem will become maximization opposite first effect second the constraints or restrictions of primal become the coefficient of variable in the objective function of dual example i'll give you like this the original problem primal problem is objective function maximize z is equal to 5x1 plus 2x2 subject to constraint 3x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 80 similarly 5x1 plus 3x2 is less than or equal to 60 and x1 x2 is greater than or equal to 0 so here to explain you to make you understand i have taken an example this is the primal problem objective function maximize z is equal to 5x1 plus 2x2 so if you convert this primal into dual problem first of all here it is maximization the dual problem will be minimization dual problem will be minimization and secondly it is saying the constraints or restrictions of primal these are the constant 60 and uh, 80 and 60 the 80 and 60 are the restrictions of the constraints these restrictions or constraints will become the coefficient of objective function of dual the coefficient of objective function of dual so like maximization will become minimized so minimize z is equal to 80 y1 plus 60 y2 the restriction will become coefficient of objective function second one then third one the coefficient of variables in objective function of primal will become the constraints or restrictions of dual that means the coefficient of objective function this is the objective function what are the coefficient of objective function 5 and 2 this 5 and 2 are the coefficient of the objective function this will become the restriction of constraints of the dual problem when we convert from primal to dual this co coefficient will become restriction and this restriction will become coefficient that is the effect now next one the coefficient of variable in restrictions of primal continue to be coefficient of variable of restriction in dual also though their sequential order changes from horizontal to vertical or vertical to horizontal that means this coefficient 3x1 to 3 1x2 similarly 5x1 3x2 so here this is in column 3 and 5 is in column this column will become row in the dual problem similarly this column 1x2 and 3x2 1 and 3 it is in column when you convert it into dual it will become row the so column will become row row will become column the uh, coefficient will remain same 
but the order sequence will change from horizontal to vertical, vertical to horizontal. Now, number of variables in dual is equal to number of restrictions in primal. So, how many restrictions are there here? Two restrictions, two constraints. The number of constraints will become number of variables in dual. So, here two constraints are there. So, two variables will be there in the dual. Lastly, the number of restrictions in dual is equal to number of variables in primal. How many variables are there? Two variables, x1 and x2. The number of variables in primal will become number of restrictions in dual. Completely opposite. Lastly, the signs of restriction in, gen in general change from less than to greater than. That means in the primal problem, the inequalities are less than equal to type. This less than equal to type will get converted into greater than equal to type in dual problem. If in the primal greater than, it will become less than. Opposite it will become. So in this way, we can be able to convert the primal problem into dual problem. After watching this video, when we do the problems, the concept will be very, very clear how to convert the primal problem into dual problem. It's a very simple procedure. But before doing the problem, first you have to watch this video carefully. Then easily you can understand the problems. Now, characteristic. Now, one more thing. If the primal problem is a maximization problem, then for the purpose of writing its dual, all the constraint must be converted to less than equal to type. One more very important point you have to remember. So, if the maximization problem is there, if the problem objective function is maximization in primal problem, then all the restrictions should be less than equal to type. Less than equal to type. If, it is, if we are having mixed constraints, then we have to convert all the constraint into less than equal to type. Then only you should convert it into dual problem. We should not have any mixture of constraints in the dual problem. In the dual problem, all the constraints should be either less than or greater than. Maximization type problem, all the constraints should be less than or equal to type. If we don't have less than or equal to type, we have to convert it into less than or equal to type and then find out the dual. That is the necessary. So if the primal problem is minimization problem, then all the constraints should be greater than or equal to type. So if there is no greater than or equal to type, if there is mixture of constraint, then first you have to convert all the constraint into greater than type and then find out the dual. That is compulsory necessary. And this point again, we I'll clarify while doing the problems. That point you have to remember. Next one is characteristic of dual. When we make the dual, what are the features? Dual of dual is primal. Suppose if primal problem is there, we have converted the primal into dual. Now, after converting the primal into dual, again we calculate the dual of dual, we will get the primal problem. That is the characteristic feature. Dual of dual will become primal. And if either of the primal or dual problem has a solution, then the other has a solution. If we get the solution of primal, then automatically we can get the problem, uh, we can get the solution of dual also. So every problem, every primal problem has a solution of dual. And every solution of dual will have a solution of primal. That is the characteristic feature. Now, advantages of duality. Why with this duality concept is applied? Just now I told you, there are many situations where the primal problem is very lengthy problem containing so many constraints. It will be difficult to solve the problem of primal. In that case, easily we can get the solution of primal by converting the primal into dual and solve the dual, we'll get the problem, solution of primal also. It yields a number of powerful theorems. This duality will give you a number of theorems. Then computational procedure can be considerably reduced by converting into dual if the primal problem contains large number of rows, constraints and small number of columns. The very important usage of dual is if the primal problem is having many constraints, so we can convert easily into dual and find out the solution. That's the easy method. Otherwise, 
it will take more iterations to solve the problem. And solution of the dual checks the accuracy of primal solution for computational purpose. If we, if we are having the feature of duality, then easily we can check the arithmetical accuracy of the solution of primal also. The next one, economic interpretation of dual helps the management in making future decisions. By making this uh, use of this uh, duality concept, many economic interpretations can be used to make all future decisions. Lastly, it indicates a fairly close relationship exists between the linear programming and duality. It gives you a fair or clear relationship between linear programming and its duality concept. These are the advantages of duality. Now lastly, economic interpretation of dual. Why this duality is applied? Primal and dual represent two sides of the same coin. First of all, remember, every original problem will have an image problem. Every. So that's why linear programming problem. That means primal and dual are the two sides of the same coin. Now, in fact, the solution of primal provides the solution of dual and vice versa. Simplex method is such a best method of finding out the LPP, solving the LPP where by solving the primal we can get the solution of dual or by solving the dual we can get the solution of the primal and uh, whenever simplex method is used to solve the primal it simultaneously provides the solution of dual just now I told you if you solve the primal then final simplex table will give you the solution of primal as well as dual similarly if you solve a dual problem the final simplex table will give you the solution of dual and also primal. The last and final simplex table will give you the solution of both. And uh, similarly, the solution of dual provides the solution of primal. Indeed, both the solutions contain exactly the same information. The final simplex table will give the same exact solution of both primal as well as uh, dual. This is the int economic interpretation of duality. So this is the end of this theory concept on dual. What is dual? How to formulate the dual? How to find the solution of dual? And what is the economic interpretation of dual? These things are very important for attempting the theory question on duality. So inshallah, we will start the problems on duality in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your groups, among your friends, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. So apart from this operation research, I have uploaded many videos on financial management, investment management, accounting for management, statistics for management. All these videos are very, very important for BBA, MBA, MCOM, CA, CMA, etc. So keep watching, enhance your knowledge. Inshallah, we'll start uh, the next uh, problems on duality in the next video.